Hey everybody, I am back today with another wig review. And today the wig is on Azuri units. I hadn't viewed, reviewed Azuri, uh, Azuri unit yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got in from outside and it's hot today. We go from cold to hot, cold to hot. Boy, I tell you, you get all four seasons, all four seasons in one season. I'm telling you, that's what happened down here. But anyway, um, we're going to be reviewing Azuri Sis wig which is the Meltdown HD Lace FFT Ginger Color uh, in the name of Ave. A-I-V-E. And she is supposed to be one of those flawless natural hairline solutions. So on the back of the stock card, kind of gives you a, a slight peek at what the hairline is supposed to be like on the unit. And as well as right there on the front, if you can see that. It seems like it's going to be a very nice unit. I haven't you really tacked it down. This is one of the ones on my head, which is the FFT Ginger. But we are going to see what it's all about. Now, I actually got a request from someone that actually asked me, well, not really a request, but asked me if I had any videos on cutting the lace of units. So I've decided already this week, before I was even asked or even read the comment, um, that someone wrote to me, one of the subscribers, about cutting off the lace of a unit. So I'm going to actually do that on Miss Ave. I actually have Miss Ave in the FFT Ginger on my head. That's what I'm wearing here now. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you see what that ginger looks like. She's another inexpensive unit too, which is a very well uh, put together unit, may I add. With the color, the quality of the cap construction, it's pretty doggone good in my opinion. Now, I haven't applied this unit all the way, but you'll see why I haven't um, in just a few minutes. But back to that, that uh, lace cutting. So what I'm going to do is show on Ava or Ave here on this mannequin um, in the color, I think she's a walnut. Yeah, some RTH walnut. Now, this is that walnut color here. This is the walnut. Very beautiful hues of different shades of brown. And actually looks like it has a little bit of tint of red in there in certain areas. As you can see, very nice unit, very nice color. And I'm actually going to be keeping these units. I won't be getting rid of these, so they won't go up. So I'm actually going to keep this. So I'm going to be wearing this one tomorrow, actually, to one of my meetings. So I will be cutting the lace on her today. So let's get started. Now, you can use a mannequin head if you have one. Put you some, some uh, straight pins in it to secure the um, wig to the mannequin head as well. So it won't shift on you. Any type of straight pins that you put in clothes will work, ladies. There's no need to go out and buy something all extravagant. But you may want to get the ones that have the little balls on the end so they won't sink down into the foam head. The foam heads you can purchase at Sally's or wherever they're sold in beauty supply stores. And there are numerous stores online as well that sell the foam heads. Now, I, for one, am not going to use the foam head today. Just not. I'm going to take it off. The foam head here. And I am going to hold this unit up to let you see how I have these claw clamps already pushing the hair back from the lace that I will be cutting. And it has that HD ashy lace that comes off ashy as you can see. And like I said, she's on my head now. But I've applied some powder to the part already for the one that's on my head. Okay. She has two combs by the ears. And she has the neighbor neck comb, your adjustable straps as well. So what we're going to be doing, like I said, I've already prepped her. I pulled the hair back away from the lace and the hairline. Pulled it back. You can mousse it back, pull it back, water, spray bottle, you know, water and spray bottle and do the same. And clamp it back. Don't be afraid of messing up the hairs. It's not really much you can do to mess it up unless you're just pulling on it and yanking on and tear the lace. So what I did was I already started cutting the lace. But as you can see. Y'all see this look that I got? Because I was rudely interrupted by my camera on this little cheap phone that I got. But it's fine. It's fine. It's going to do the job. Now, before I was interrupted, what I did was show you guys the little bit of piece of lace that I had already started cutting. So, I used these little small cuticle-like type scissors to cut the lace off the wig with because just because they're easy to manage, that's all. No real reason. You just get whatever pair of scissors that you're comfortable with using to cut the lace and what we do ladies you see that what we're going to do is going to be cutting right near that hairline is what we're going to be doing okay you can use a foam head mannequin like i said before all the five dollars from um salads put you some pins in and so forth 
and use it and set it on, pin it down, start the cutting, okay? And you want to cut a jagged edge because, let's face it, most people's hairlines are not just round. You get some people that are, but most of ours has like a little jag to it. So with that being said, you take your little bit of small scissors, all inexpensive, you can get them for like a dollar from the Dollar Journal or whatever, and you just start it cutting around that hairline. And what I do is hold it like this, like an alligator's mouth, between the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger. And I hold it like this, and you just cut right next to that hairline in just a small, jagged motion, keeping the hair away from the edges, okay? And you're going to do that motion all the way around, ladies, all the way around until the lace is completely off of the unit that you are getting ready to that you're prepping or getting ready to wear now that doesn't mean that when you put the unit on it's going to be great and you don't have to cut anything else you just cut as you need to cut lace that's the way it works you know you may have a little lace that's a little extra right there that you don't want you can still could just take your little scissors and bloop, just cut it off and be done with it but it is very easy to maneuver and as you can see those little jagged edges it's not a straight line. It's like a wavy or jacket. You want to mimic your hairline as much as possible. Okay? Now, and there's your lace. Your lace is off. There's that ashy lace. Y'all want to see it? Mm, yeah, that's it. Anyway, we don't have to worry about that. And we dispose of it, of course. There ain't no need to keep it. Now, that's your finished product. Okay, now what you want to do when it comes to this HD lace, like I said, face powder, or you can just use some of your concealer and put it on a makeup brush or whatever kind of brush of your liking. Doesn't matter if you wear makeup or not. Doesn't matter. Just get you a brush to do the application. This fluffy brush is the one I use for big, like, frontal units. I was looking for my other little brush. Here it is. This is the one I really like to use. And what you're going to do is you're going to lightly dip it. Dip it in there. You're going to shake your brush, shake your access back, access back in that, um, to your container. And then you're just going to follow that lace. And you're going to take that motion all the way around your edges. Careful not to just douse a lot of it. It needs to be very light powder. Don't go putting, thinking you're going to put a whole bunch of glue glop powder on there and then it go looking all red and looking crazy on you, depending on what your color is, okay? And you're going to take that. All the way around the lace. Okay, and I'm going to show it to you in just a second. And when you put it on, now that's all we're going to do with her. Okay, when you put it on, you can apply your lace powder while it's on your head. Now, that's all we're going to do with her. I'll finish her up later. I just want to want you guys to see how the lace was cut from ear to ear. There's nothing to it, ladies. Buy your clamps, very inexpensive clamps. Right there, Walmart, about $4, and you probably get like five to six in a pack, okay? Because that's where I got mine at. You can also order them online, beauty supply store, it doesn't matter. Clamps are clamps, as long as they are the secure ones. But I do like the claw-looking ones. Those are the ones that I have, okay? And like I said, Walmart, uh-oh, well, hmm. Walmart, okay? And I use my Fenty Loose Makeup Powder, Finishing Powder. That's what I use, or you can use your concealer whichever one you like okay now again this is miss ave and right now she's on my head in that color fft ginger once again that's that ginger okay now all i'm gonna do is show you what i did to do this when it's, when i said you put the powder in the part once it's on your head okay and you're gonna just do something like that 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 now i've already taken the liberty of trimming my baby hairs as you can see because it does come with some long baby hairs but nice Nicely thin, they're you know, it's got that flawless part and flawless tweeze. But I cut mine to my liking, and you can do the same with yours, or you can just push them back in your in your unit, push them back into the other hairs, and then just go. Now, one of the quick things I want to do for you guys, really, really quick, because I know y'all been seeing this looking kind of crazy on my head. But you see that lace? That's lace, ladies. Okay, and that's that. That hairline that you get, which is not that bad, actually. Now, normally, I would take my hot comb and just kind of ease it back. Ease it through here to about right here just to make it 
stay flatter so I can go ahead on and do what I need to do when it comes to laying the lace on my head. Now, I'm going to pick the lace up, just kind of put it back a little bit. I'm going to take this spray, spray just a little right here. And then I just dab mine with my finger because I've been doing this a long time. I'm not going to sit here and do some little crazy technique that you guys may not. But I know everybody's familiar with a finger, right? Okay. And then I just take it. What I do is take it and I lay it over that. And normally, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm going to go ahead and slip a clamp through here, which I should have did that before. But I'm going to take it, lay it, and then I'm going to take my hand, hold this part down, take my blow dryer. Like I have shown you guys in previous videos. And I am going to put a little heat to this in a motion. Just like this. See that? There it is. And you're going to do that all the way across. Now, I'm going to show you another way of doing it. Okay? Take this. Instead of lifting up the lace, spray it. Just on that lace, on top of the lace, right in that hairline. Take your finger, finger, comb placement. It's going to run sometimes, but that ain't, that's not uncommon. And you just do just like that, ladies. Take your blow dry once again. And you're going to just lightly smooth, see my motion? Smoothing downward, smoothing downward, smoothing downward. And I'm going to do that in the part as well. See that? And you want to move across because you don't want it to come off ashy. Because let me tell you something. That got to be glued. It'll do it to you. It'll make you look ashy and tacky as well. Okay? But that's what you're going to do all the way across. Now, when it comes to baby hairs, this is just a real quick tutorial on how to do this, this stuff. Even though I know I've shown y'all the motions. You know, sort of kind of on my other reviews. But I'm actually going to two brush. Just going a little bit deeper, a little more in depth about it. Two brush or whatever. You can get these. Dollar Journal, whatever they're sold. Hair supply, on and on and on, on. Again, ladies, this stuff is sold a dime a dozen now because people are wearing wigs. This ain't like some big secret like your Aunt Lucy or somebody used to have. Everybody's wearing a wig. Whether they got a problem with the hair or not, okay? It's fashionable. You don't have to... You don't have to... um manipulate your own hair and make it unhealthy if you want it colored if you want it short whatever it's just a style style ladies okay now as you can see i applied the got to be glued as i told y'all about in my previous videos and i just put just a little bit like a dot and then you just do this dap 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 take your comb which this thing here i had it and then you're just gonna take your finger and swerve same thing I'm going to take that stuff, got to be glued or whatever gel to your liking, whatever you like. But make sure, lady, ladies, when you're dealing with synthetic hair, you better get you something good to hold it down with. Don't be coming up here thinking you're going to get you some of that little cheap gel and them flyaways and stuff going to stop. Mm -mm. Go home and you be sitting there looking like you got like you got a hat, a bib off a hat on your head. Mm -mm, you don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to be in public like that. But that's, that's how it's a quick swerve on the baby hairs. Now, I'm going to just take this down. Make sure you got, you know, you can tie it down with a scarf, a silk scarf. You can go and get the little tape or whatever they use, you know, when you get a hair wrap or whatever. Put that, tie it on as well, and do it'll do the same thing. Same effect. Regular hair scarf, same effect. You can even take the dog on with hair dryer. Well, I'm just going to be honest. Let's keep it a whole hundred. Okay. If you're in a rush, like I am sometimes... Hmm. Okay. And that is it, lady. That is it. That is it. And look. Mm hmm Quick installation. And you would do that all the way across, especially if you're going to wear it out. Okay? Now, that is it for my quick tutorial. Didn't think I was going to be doing that. But I did think about doing it. And I said, like, oh, I think I'll do that this weekend. Oh, it depends on what, you know, thing, how things go over the weekend or when I get home, how tired I am or whichever it may be. But when I saw that from the subscriber in the comments, I couldn't help but do it. You know what? She was in my head. 
I'm going to give it to you, sis. So I hope you're watching this video, and I hope it has helped you. If there's something else I can help you guys with, please feel free to drop something down in the comment, um, the comment section, and I will read it and respond. And until next time, ladies, which will be very, very soon, I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye for now. Yeah, I'm still sitting here on this little fuzzy stool. I might as well just tell my husband to bring my little dinner in here tonight and let me eat it like a little old jailbird. Because it don't look like I'm going to make it off this stool tonight because I'm a slave to it right now tonight. Because I'm going to wrap this review up by giving you guys a good 360 of this unit to even make you think you might want to buy it or if you even want the unit. Which you might do and I hope you do. Now let me go ahead and turn to the right. Turn to my left. All the hair to the front of this beautiful ginger color by Zuri. Neck check. And this is that bang, that signature bang that Zuri is known for. They're known for their bangs, their swoop bangs with height and that color. And these curls at the end too that I'm going to be getting rid of too. I'm going to get rid of these curls with a flat iron. So it can make it, you know, I can make it look more natural and not so pop up wiggy natural and i'll be doing that with the walnut one too that i'm going to wear tomorrow to my meeting i'm going to turn to the back and if you get this unit ladies please let me know which color you get and how you feel about it and back to the front now let me tell you a little bit about these earrings that i have on they are from my friend at tea time she makes these this jewelry and she makes them one of a kind she does not duplicate her jewelry at all so when she gets up a website you guys i will definitely let you guys know and i'll put her uh, website down in my description box but for now i'm just enjoying the jury and i appreciate it so much so shout out to you Timma. all right till next time which will be very very soon don't forget to like share subscribe and comment ladies continue to comment share your channel with your friend girls have a glass of wine have a glass of water share some popcorn in a movie okay but just anyway, get them to share, like, and subscribe as well, and comment. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye.